Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay. Oh, okay. So, wow. Um, your person is really, really thinking about you. That's the first thing for you to know. If you've been wondering, do they care? Do they think about me? Have they moved on? You know, if you're not speaking or if there's some sort of separation, the answer is 100% yes. Not only are they thinking about you, they cannot stop thinking about you. And they are very worried because you are out here as this queen of wands, whether you are, you know, you resonate with a king, a queen, whoever watching, you know, the energy of the Queen of Wands is somebody who is vibrant, just basically just attractive in, in so many ways, you know, energy, appearance, attitude, the kinds of things you do, the kind of things you enjoy, the way I'm hearing specifically, the way that you talk to people, the way that you interact with people, maybe you're um, very generous with your words, you're very compassionate, you're very encouraging, something like that. For some of you, the way that you speak to other people. I don't know if your person is around you or they can see interactions online or something like that, but um, it, it makes you very attractive to them. So they're worried that you're out here being fabulous. Um, and I, well, we'll see why they're worried, but I would assume, you know, they're worried that they might lose you, that you might move on or that they aren't good enough or something like that. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We have the Moon. We've got Sagittarius and Pisces energy here. So they could be worried as well if they don't really know what you're up to, if they're just able to get snippets of your life or maybe they have no information whatsoever. Um, what are you doing? Who are you with? I just heard where do you live? I, I don't know if some of you are moving. Oh gosh, they have something to say to you. And for some of you, this message is going to come in unexpectedly. I'm definitely going to clarify that in a minute. I want to know, I'm sure you want to know <laughs> what they want to say to you. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, if previously you have been in a very giving energy with your person, open-hearted, compassionate, you know, being very understanding and patient. It might be that you have pulled back to focus on yourself right now, or maybe you were saying, that's not getting me anywhere. I need to change things up here. I need to step more into a fiery kind of energy. Your person's a bit worried because um, they feel it. They know, they see it. They feel like maybe um, you're not being as forgiving if, you know, if they've had many chances and you're not kind of they're just not getting the energy from you that you will always be sat here waiting, being nurturing, being lovely and pleasant. You know, yes, you're those things as the Queen of Wands as well, but you also have this fire in you that, that know, you know, you know your boundaries, that sort of thing. OK, we have the Three of Swords and that popped out pretty much on top of the Queen of Cups. So that tells me there's definitely been some some pain, some heartbreak, emotional, mental um you know maybe time and time again and that's for some of you why you may have stepped more into the, the fire energy rather than the emotional sort of water energy here oh gosh and we have the five of cu five of cups five of um pentacles with me saying the five of cups they are definitely in a period of mourning of regret um thinking about maybe where they now consider themselves to have gone a bit wrong you know things they could have done better the emotion they should have shared with you um, five of Pentacles in the Moon. This person's in the dark as far as they're concerned. Um, we have the Six of Swords on the back in reverse. So if you have pulled away, if for some of you going back to that message about where do you live, if you've moved house, they're kind of wishing you could be close again. Or if it's just that you've pulled back emotionally, energetically, they really, like I said, they really notice they're really missing this as well. Ah, Two of Cups. Okay. And the Eight of Swords. So... The reason they, they regret is that they have known, they have understood the feelings all along, you know, and it's not like they didn't realise, and that would have been fair enough. Um, this is someone who's saying, but I knew, I, I knew all along and I kept my mouth shut, you know, I should have said something. Okay, let's see. So this Knight of Swords. Oh, the Tower, Scorpio energy, and we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so for some of you, it, it could be a couple of things. This might be someone who actively went out behind your back and perhaps cheated on you if you were in a connection, if, you know, sorry, not a connection, a commitment. If you weren't in a commitment, it looks like someone who had this 
frivolous, light-hearted energy when actually the situation was much heavier and you both felt it, but they were trying to keep it as something flirtatious, you know, not offer commitment of any kind. I always say commitment doesn't have to be, let's get married, let's move in. It can be, I'm committing to a stable energy. I'm committing to treating you with decency, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I'm committing to showing you that I can be consistent so you know which version of me to expect on any given sort of occasion. Um, okay, so this person urgently wants to tell you that, that that has changed. On the back we have the King of Pentacles. This person has been doing something in the background to level up, to become more mature. They could have been working on finances, you know, with the Five of Pentacles here. And with the moon, some of them might have been having a lot of struggles with money that they didn't want you to know about. And if so, I think they're working on that. They're resolving it if they haven't already. For others of you, yes, they're saying, you know, I've, I've been reflecting. I regret how I acted and I want to show up as a mature, stable energy now. I, you know, I'm not this knight of wands anymore that maybe brought in this tower moment here. Okay. We have the lovers gemini energy but this person definitely feels and and has felt for a long time that you are incredibly important to them um hold on that's very annoying that flickering yeah let me move that okay so they feel that you're very important um they've known it on a soul level the lovers can also talk about needing to make a big decision and that could have been why for some of them they've been dragging their feet because it, you know, whichever decision they make, they can't make a fraction of the decision. It's all or nothing. Let's see, what, what is this? Tell us more. We have the Sun, Leo energy. Yeah, I, I, decision or no decision. This is really talking about the fact that they know you are the one for them. Nobody else makes them as happy as you do. We have the Sun now and we have the Moon. This person is definitely keen to bring you some kind of message clarity yes eight of one so this could come as a direct message it could be a text message an email something like that <gasps> look what fell out on top of the five of pentacles six of swords in the upright and we had this before in the reverse so they feel that you have moved forward um because they pushed you away in a sense they gave you no choice whether they just um pretty much ignored you or they were non-committal wishy-washy you know they they gave you one word responses that sort of thing or whether they actually actively kept pushing you away so it's like you said okay fine i don't particularly want to go but um i will because i have self-respect and i've given it you know my all i've given it my best um okay so they're worried that yes at one point it might have seemed that you were very addicted to them um bound to them in some way but you've thought about it and you have managed to release this and you're beginning a new journey elsewhere manifesting new things for your life um and they're worried that they won't be able to get you back but i see them trying yeah look what just slipped out the two of cups absolutely okay let's get some channeled messages Oh, OK, we have your mind. So this is someone who you might recognize a slight sort of possessiveness to your person here. Or this could be someone who, when it comes to you, they get really fired up and um, they are worried, very, very worried that you're with someone else or you're going to be with someone else. We have best friend. Yeah. And that's the two of cups energy here with the lovers. We definitely have passion as well. But this is this comes through quite a lot in our readings, this person is saying they don't just see you as a sexual conquest or um, as, as I don't know, a romantic partner only. You are a friend as well. You know, you are their best friend. You're the person they want to tell their good news to, the things that are worrying them, you know, everything. Okay, we have, I'm, ooh, I'm thinking about you right now. So literally in this very moment that you are watching this reading, whenever you're watching it, your person is thinking about you right now. Mm. We have unresolved father issues. So for some of you, maybe your person has been trying to get the approval of a parent um, or live in the way that a parent has shown them and that's meant that they've been acting inauthentically and they've been worried about being open and honest with you 
For others of you, it could be that they themselves are <clears throat> a father, maybe a mother, and they have, um, you know, like sort of child care issues and, and that sort of thing that they've got to sort out with um, with the other parent. I kind of feel it's more, you know, whether your person is a parent or not, I feel this is more talking about their um, unresolved issues with a strong masculine energy. Well, yeah, we have you couldn't possibly want me. So for a long time, one of the reasons they may have been pushing you away is because they felt like this is too good to be true. If you see behind the mask, you're going to realise you can do so much better than them. And that would have been crushing for them. And we have I underestimated you. So maybe they underestimated this connection. Maybe they thought at the start, I can push this into a box. I can define this. I can make this only physical. Or, you know, if I keep pushing you away, you will leave, that sort of thing. But there's something about you, you know, you've stepped forward as this queen of wands. You've, sh you've shown your strength. Maybe you've even shown your commitment to this, this person, this connection through difficult times. And now they're saying, well, why? Why did it take me so long to open up to this? Yeah, why did I pretend for so long that we were just friends? We have I dream about you. So that could be you know, fantasizing during the day. We know they're thinking about you right now. With the moon card coming out, it could be dreams at night. I dream about our future together. Oh, wow, I feel possessive over you. Yes, and we have this card earlier. So this person really is feeling like, you know, they, they don't want anyone trying to make a move at this time. If you are already with someone, they might be feeling a bit cross about it because they're, they're kind of saying you should be with me. Okay, let's see what's going on. What's their focus on right now in their 3D world? Okay, we have emotional or psychological impairment. So this could, you know, we definitely see that with the Nine of Swords. This could be um, something temporary, you know, they're not getting enough sleep. Um, they're feeling very stressed, very worried. The the energy of the Five of Cups came through, so feeling, you know, sort of quite low. Um, hold on, that should be in there. Um, feeling quite low. What did I want to say about the Five of Cups? Yes, we have two cups behind us, but we're looking at the three that are spilt. So it tells me they will get out of this energy. It's not something permanent. Um, but they're, they're not feeling so great at the moment. So this card here, I actually am going to get to this deck at the end. This is one of my um, messages from Spirit cards. And so we'll take it because it's here. It says we're all ears. So this is Spirit telling you, you know, we're listening. We're open to, to whatever you want. Do you want to release some burdens? Do you want to manifest something? Remember, you have your divine support team always around you. And they're always waiting to be invited to help you. Okay, struggling financially, yes, we did see that with the uh, King of Pentacles and the Five of Coins. Some of them are very focused on improving uh, their finances, maybe their living situation as well. Yeah, trying to become affluent. So for some of you, it might even, it might not necessarily be that this person is actually struggling financially. They might be saying, I'm doing okay, but I want to, to have more. Um, and, you know, I'm not, that's fine, whatever, money is, is energy. So, um they're kind of saying, I want more of that energy. I want more of, of what money can bring. They might be looking at you and seeing you as being affluent. And they're saying, well, I want to be on your level. Mm, night Owl. So this is someone who's up late at night thinking about you. Um, or they just can't get to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Insomniac, exactly. And we have dedicated to a hobby. So maybe, um, okay, random message. This could be someone who's done a bit of gambling in their time um, and they kind of pass it off as like, no, it, I, it's just how I blow off steam. It's a hobby and they're saying crap, you know. I know deep down I've become a bit dependent on this and I've lost quite a bit of money because of this. But others of them, um, I mean, there could literally be a hobby they have that's that's quite expensive, but... There's something, there's something they're doing here. Let's see. In a relationship. Affluent dedicated to a hobby in a relationship. 
there's something that's outside of work and you know the usual things in life that's taking a lot of their money it seems to be some sort of relationship whether it's romantic it's a familial relationship or or something like that like a partnership you know i kind of get for some of you this won't be for all your person might be trying to build a business with someone else and it's requiring them to have more money and maybe it's something that started off as a hobby and they're saying actually i can make this my full-time career okay so let's get some traits and characteristics Um, the name Daryl is coming through. I There was a character called Daryl in um, The Walking Dead, I think. That's the only reference that I have to give, but you know, maybe that means something more to you guys. We have Taurus, so Taurus energy here. You could have Taurus in your chart, or they could. Oh, we have highly sexual, yes. And this is the energy, perhaps, that your person has shown you before. That's the energy they seem to feel comfortable in. Um, and especially with the energy of Taurus here, you know, having a real appreciation for aesthetic beauty. Um, you know, maybe they made you feel valued in that way, but they wouldn't sort of give anything more than that. Okay, we have Libra. Wow, Taurus and Libra. This person might be incredibly attractive to you as well. You know what I'm getting as well? That once you, you know, any time you would try and take it beyond maybe just passion or something like that, this person would go very cold. You would get no emotion from them. Like the energy of Libra or just, I'm sorry, not, okay, if you're a Libra watching, I'm absolutely not saying that you're cold. What I meant to say is in Tarot, um, justice represents Libra. So I'm, I'm not really talking about Libra energy right now. I'm more talking about the card of, of justice. Um, justice is impartial, balanced. You might have felt that this person was careful with their words. They wouldn't really um, show you their emotion. They really thought before they spoke and half the time the things they thought of, they didn't say. Oh, we have sad. Okay, so behind the scenes, this person is sad. Scorpio energy makes sense under highly sexual <laughs> i have them um, i have a friend she's probably my oldest friend actually um and i don't know i'm telling you this random anecdote but i went to her house once this was so many years ago and um, she was wearing this amazing fitted black dress you know the little black dress and i was like wow why, why are you wearing that um and she was like oh i was just cleaning you why <laughs> Why on earth would you put on that incredible dress to do some cleaning? Because we weren't going out that night. And I just thought, wow, you know, that energy of kind of, did I tell you she's a Scorpio? I hope I did. Otherwise, that meant nothing. But she was a Scorpio. And it's just that kind of energy of, um, I don't know, prioritizing, looking good, feeling good, regardless of who's around or whatever you're doing. Okay. Anyway, we have Sneaky. Um, so you could have felt this person's behaviour is sneaky. I kind of get what they do is they hide um, a lot of their feelings. You know, we, we've had that message a few times, especially if they're feeling sad. We have Aquarius. Oh, we have Wounded. I'm being drawn back to that father card, the masculine energy. Yes, and we have a dreamer, Aquarius and a dreamer. This person has a side to them that is very expansive and perhaps is drawn to things that are um, maybe unconventional or doing something in a new way or doing something different. But I feel that mas wounded masculine energy that they were around, probably growing up, has forced them to shut that down a little bit. They might be saying, well, the almost the, the dreamer side of me doesn't um, align with the conventional side that everyone around me has shown I should be in, you know? Um, so there's this kind of war within them. Which way do they go? And I think you've been helping them to have courage to go in the direction of this, you know, their dreams, to, to dream bigger here, to see that there's more to life than maybe what's just immediately around them. Okay, so let's go on to these oracle cards over here the message cards then we'll do the lovers oracle and then we will finish with some messages to you okay we 
have I'm still trying to find myself. I think, you know, this person knows who they are, but for the longest time they've been shown, perhaps they've even been told by the people that, that you know, are closest to them, family, friends, we don't accept all of you, or we won't accept all of you if you try and bring out a certain part. So they've been, it, it's, it's really caused this separation within. Um, so it's almost like they're re-finding, rediscovering themselves. Yeah, I need more time to figure things out. Seeing you reminds me, yep, of the things I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with. Yeah, you remind them that they have dreams, that they actually might be a little bit um, unconventional or want to do things in an unconventional way. I need to go my own way for a while, and I feel that's not so much a message to you as to whoever and whatever is in their community. I still remember the good times we shared. Mm, you are irreplaceable. Mm, for some of you, maybe they tried, you know, tried to replace you and that might have been the final straw. Um, and now they're regretting that. I will make things right between us one day. I think that one day is very, very soon. You know, um, it's incoming very quickly. We have, I'm really bad at commitment. So this wasn't personal. Then wanting to stay in that sexual energy, the energy of the Knight of Wands, it's because they're saying, I really felt secure there. I feel secure in that energy. But when it comes to commitment, that scares me, or I've had bad experiences, or I mess things up, or I've never found someone who looks at commitment in the same way that I do. Okay. we have wait yeah wait please don't go don't rush into it allow nature to take its course so right now in this card i'm more drawn to the weight rather than the the rest of the message we have power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time yeah so your person knows deep down intuitively they've always known who they are and that some aspects of the life they've built resonate and other aspects they've built that they've been living you know for somebody else we have a message for you <laughs> i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you they really are thinking of you in this very moment we've had that message twice wow okay so let's finish with a few more messages to you from spirit regarding this connection regarding your person oh wow spirit's telling <laughs> spirit's telling me you might be happy you might not be happy about this for some of you your person is talking a lot i'm, I'm literally seeing you know how people go like that with their hands to say like oh blah 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 like talking a lot about you to someone else i think it's good things let me check um wow okay so what is this person saying please doesn't feel like anything to worry about let's see oh my goodness i told you it was good king of wands and the ten of cups remember they look at you as being the queen of wands this person is is mouthing off to someone telling them how remember, where's that card of being possessive well never mind you know it's there um about how you should be with them they should be with you you would be happiest together you know they would make you the happiest wow okay how about they tell you some of this though right Okay, what else, please? I won't have an extended today, um, just in case you're looking for that. Okay, what else do you want to say, please? Spirit's telling me not a lot, so <laughs> fair enough. Um, okay, is there anything else? No, I don't. I think that's it. So the message for you then from Spirit is, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to release or ask for you know spirit is listening whether it's a sign whether it's guidance whether it's to make something clearer to have some more information um you know or to heal something whatever it is um make the time to really clear your mind and send out that intention to ask okay so thank you everyone for watching i will do the one question one card now um if you are sticking around for that awesome if not i hope this has been helpful um hopefully i'll see you again for the bonus reading which will be tomorrow um take care and speak soon bye
Okay, so thank you everyone for your questions. Today's winner is Lady Boss, who says, um, will I get married with my own biological children? So let's see, I can already see that we have the Hierophant from the back, which can be a of marriage. Okay, Spirit, what do you have to say, please? Can you share about this question? Okay, the High Priestess, um, there's something here that's unknown to you and it's deliberately unknown right now. So if you feel that it's, it's a big fat mystery to you at this time, Spirit's saying that is on purpose. There's a reason for this. Let's see what else we have. Death, we have, oh wow. Okay, this is really big. I wonder, are you going through a huge shift right now, either in your 3D life or your internal life, emotional, um, spiritual? Because look, there's something deep going on here and I don't think it's all clear to you yet. It will be clear when you look back. We have death. We know that's about um, transformation. And then what comes in after the fall with the Ten of Pentacles, which is which is a card of, of family and generation. So yes, you, a partner, children, maybe grandchildren. Um, but the Fool and the Ten of Coins are in reverse. It's an energy that's coming. It's not here yet. First, there's something to do around, or there's there's work you're doing around this ending, this, this transformation. It could be you're learning something. So I feel that this is saying yes. But I don't know, maybe what you're going through now might be quite difficult, might be almost an unwanted ending or change, but it's making room for a whole new beginning for you. Not just a new relationship, but maybe a, a new start in life. So I feel like my answer is yes, but first there's something that you're going through. And as the cards are already upright, I, I feel you're kind of already on your way with this. Is there anything else you can share, please? The High Priestess and Death. Yeah, Judgment in Reverse. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. This is massive, massive energy. Um, if you get to a point where you, you start to feel hopeless as well, is this all over? Um, sorry, is, is, you know, is my chance to have children or a family or meet someone? Should I just give up? It's not happening. Is it too late? Or I don't know, whatever. Um, you know, if you start to lose that hope, spirit's saying, well, don't, <laughs> you know, your hope will be restored. Your faith will be restored. And it doesn't have to just come from within. You don't have to keep, you know, um, buoying yourself up every day and sort of that takes a lot of effort and there's a lot of self-doubt there's going to be something as well that comes from outside of you that really brings back your faith in this your belief um it's almost like just as you feel like it's all over forget it it's never going to happen there's a big turnaround here but you're definitely going through something huge um and it's clearing the path for you to have exactly what you want with this ten of coins so i feel the answer is yes um you know whatever you're going through it seems to be very deep i think keep pushing through and even if this seemed wholly unrelated to um, marriage and children just know in some way it is and it will become clearer um the further forward or the more you progress along this journey okay so thank you so much everyone i hope this has been helpful take care and we will speak again tomorrow bye